Hey guys, and warm welcome back to the channel. My name is Grace, if you're new here, and this is The Rusty Thicket, and we are on day six of Vlogoween. So today I really wanted to kind of get into a little bit more witchy stuff and do a spell jar and kind of walk you through how I prepare for that or how I make them up on my own or just kind of whatever comes to mind, I guess. And then we are also going to build a crystal charging box here in just a little bit at the end. It'll be really basic, simple stuff because that's what I love in my witchcraft is just really simple things. Um, so yeah, we'll get right into it. So before we get started, um, as you can see, I've kind of already put together some of the stuff we'll be using for the spell jar, but we do need to draw our tarot card first. And today that is going to be the Emperor. So let's see what the Emperor has in store for us today. So reading our handy little book here, the Emperor is the father. He's the tarot's perfect counterpart to the Empress. He represents the side of you that's protective, decisive, and truly stable. He brings clarity of mind, and this in turn leads to actions or decisions. Sometimes this card is literal and points to a paternal relationship in your life. At other times, it suggests reconnecting with the part of you that stands strong and tall and knows just what to do. With help from the sun, the emperor can see for miles and miles. So the key words here are protection, stability, and the father. I would say that there has been a lot of protection coming into my life lately. Uh, my mother-in-law sent me this uh, crystal today, the stone. It's called Shungite. I've never actually had this before. Um, I've never seen it in a shop in which to purchase it, but it's for purification, clarity, and protection. Uh, my sister-in-law and I have also been talking recently about uh, stones, about clarity, and um, I have always enjoyed fluorite, but have never actually used it in anything, and apparently it's really great for clarity, so I feel like that word has also been coming into my life a lot more recently. I'm kind of hoping that's like on the verge of some kind of an awakening or just things really turning out the way that I'm hoping for them to turn out. So I'm really happy with that card. Um, all right, so moving on to putting together our spell jar. So I'll talk first about what uh, stuff you need and then we can put it together after I tell you what I'm going to put in the jar. So you need some kind of a jar. It could be a baby food jar. It could be one of these little jars with the cork tops. It can be a screw top one. It really doesn't matter. Just something to put it in. These are really nice because you get to see all the cute layers. Uh, this is one I've done somewhat more recently. I've done prosperity ones, weight loss ones, you name it, I've probably tried it. Um, you do want the lid, like the opening, to be big enough for little crystal pieces if you can, but of course that's not a necessity. Um, I also suggest you getting some kind of funnel. This is actually from our liquor cabinet, but it works so perfectly well because this is still large enough and yet it still fits inside of the jar. And these, I don't know if they're difficult to find or not. I got really lucky when I came across mine, but this is what I use to put all of my herbs and crystal, like the tiny, tiny crystal pieces, any kind of spoon, but this is a little spice spoon. I also like to have my mini cauldron nearby because when I am pouring the wax over top of my cork, I don't want it all over my table and the rest of my altar. Um, but you could also use something like a like an old candle holder, as long as, you know, you're protecting your surfaces. Um, other than that, of course, you do need a candle, but we will get into all of the ingredients here in just a second. What I like to do first when I'm creating a new spell jar is uh, write everything out that I'm going to put in the jar. Um, I do this for a couple reasons. I really like to have a visual representation before I actually build the physical item. Um, I also like to do this in case this just happens to work really, really well and I want to create it again. You know, I, I have some kind of written thing to go back and look at and then I typically put this in my grimoire if it does really well, like I said. Um, 
I definitely look them up from time to time, especially if I'm feeling a little unsure of what to put in the jar. Uh, but I have a really good idea what I want today, and I use a lot of the same stuff anyway, so I'm pretty familiar with their properties. Um, so we're going to start out with what kind of jar we want. And as I said before, today I would really like to do a creativity jar. Um, this is going to just kind of help clear up some of my feelings about my upcoming shows and things. I'm feeling a little um, unmotivated and just not burnt out. I just don't know what to be working on, I guess. And I feel like a creativity jar will help me with that. Um, it's also about to be a full moon, which is why we're going to do a crystal charging box here in just a little bit. And I just wanted to have this set up before the full moon because I have other things to do during this uh, hunter's moon, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, we're gonna do a creativity jar. Um, I know that I typically put about eight things in my jars, so I go ahead and number. Um, I start with the eight. And uh, the reason I do this is because you want your first item to be at the bottom, obviously, because you're filling the jar up. Um, I always, always do salt at the bottom. The base of your jar is really important because that is going to soak up any kind of negative energy. And it's usually the best um, to be either like a black salt or a pink Himalayan salt. But honestly, any kind of salt will do, especially if that's what you need to work at that moment. Um, okay, sorry, my hair is all over the place in this camera. Uh, so my next thing I usually try to do is either herbs or liquids. Like uh, sometimes I put honey in mine. We're not gonna do that today, but I do want some sugar, I think. It's just good for sweetness, being, being sweet to yourself. And I think a lot of creativity means uh, just, you know, self-care and being good to yourself because your mind needs to be in a place to be creative. Um, so, other than that, I'm trying to think of an herb I might want to use. Why don't we do thyme? That's for courage. Courage is good to have when you're being creative because sometimes it takes a lot of courage to be creative. <laughs> um, and then, like I said, we'll do some sugar here. And uh, for a flower, I typically do flowers next. Um, I don't like them interacting too much with my salt. Uh, it's the same with crystals being next to salt. Some of them just don't do well with that sort of thing or being wet, which is why crystals for me is usually one of my last items that I put in here. Um, so for a flower, I'm thinking probably a rose petal is good. I think I still have rose petals left. Um, they're really good for like opening your mind, your heart, just kind of letting letting energy flow. Uh, we might also do lavender. Yeah, let's do some lavender also. Because I have plenty of lavender. Alright, and then usually right around here, if I'm going to do any runes or scrolls or little words on spells or anything like that, I'll roll them up on a tiny piece of paper and put them in next because that's before my crystals. But I think we're going to do a spice instead. I want to put some cinnamon in here. I think... I think cinnamon... It's not only one of my favorite flavors, but I love cinnamon because it's like a... It feels like one of those powerful spices. You know, you really know when you're tasting cinnamon. But anyway, so I think I'm going to top this off with some kind of stress relief. Some kind of... Um, Maybe a chamomile, because chamomile is great for good, calm vibes. Chamomile. It's weird to talk on camera and try to spell at the same time. Um, and then for my crystals, um, I definitely want a tiger's eye. I wish I had a little piece of fluorite, like we were talking about with Clarity. Um, I do not have any of that. I am wearing some Amazonite earrings, but I don't want to put those in my spell jar either. Maybe I do have one teeny tiny piece of Labradorite. Labra. 
Labro, Labra, Dorite, right? All right, just ignore me if I've spelled that wrong. And then of course, you know, you're gonna top that with some wax at the end. Um, before we do any of this, of course, we want to cleanse our jar. And we will do that with some smoke today because I do not have incense. I have burned up all of my incense. All right, um, I'll show you guys this and I'll write it out in the comments below if anybody's actually interested in doing one for themselves. Um, but now we will go ahead and pull all of our ingredients out and go collect those from around the house and build our spell jar. Cleanse out our jar first. We're going to start with the black salt. Um, if you can see here, I've put our little list up just so we can kind of keep track of what we're doing. So we're going to do our time next. I like generous portions so I can see the layers because I think that that's pretty and I enjoy looking at them. And then our sugar. Do a few rose petals. Now for some lavender. some cinnamon some cinnamon and some chamomile all right and next for our crystals I did decide to go ahead and add in some lapis lazuli because I felt like that was something I was missing from this so we're gonna do our tiger's eye the little tiny piece of Labradorite that I have, and then the rest of this is going to be some lapis. That one's a little too big for my funnel. All right, and as you can tell, I have quite a bit of space up here that I could fill, but I'm, I'm really happy with what's in here, so I think we're just going to leave it. I love seeing the layers in here. So we're gonna go ahead and top it off. I like to use this older candle holder. Ooh, I just felt my ears pop. 
It's a physical response, so a good sign, in my opinion. Alright, I usually don't go crazy with this. I just like to have it nice and sealed, nothing crazy. And set her on the shelf. And when I feel it's been completed or I have gotten exactly what I wanted to uh, out of the spell, I usually deconstruct it and keep my stones because of course I want to keep those. And I usually either put in the trash the things that are not biodegradable or I scatter the other or, you know, put it in the trash too. It just depends. Um, but nothing that would hurt the environment should ever be buried or just, you know, thrown to the wind. But rose petals, lavender, salt, uh, you have to be really careful about the salt because it can hurt the, the soil that you put that in. So I would suggest just throwing that away in the trash. Um, you can also burn stuff if it's okay to burn, you know, um, most of your like herbs and things like that are okay, but I would just do a double check on those before you did any of that, just in case, especially if anybody's allergic, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it's gonna go right up here on my altar until I feel like it needs to be taken down. And now we're gonna move on to the crystal charging box. So this is super, super simple. Um, I just have something nice and clear so that the moonlight can hit it when I need it to um, be outside, but without any other weather or elements getting to it, you know, bugs, things like that, because some crystals don't do good in water and, you know, it does rain here. It's also very humid. Um, but anyway, this is really, really simple. Nothing fancy at all. Uh, an acrylic lift top container and as much as I would like one of those really fancy like brass triangular ones and stuff this just works really well for me because I don't have to worry about it getting broken or anything um, we have some pink Himalayan uh, salt and we're gonna put that all on the base Like I said before, salt is good for soaking up negative energy and you want your crystals to have all the positive energy you possibly can. Um, I don't have a selenite wand, but I do have selenite pieces. It's good to have those in here for charging. So we're gonna set a couple in there for that. And then all around that, I'm going to place the kinds of stuff I'm gonna be using in the next couple of weeks, especially for the full moon. All right, so there's a few things I want to put in this box. Um, I'm going to put it in here to show you what I'm doing, but then I'll probably take them out before the full moon. I just want to have like a visual representation of how it is that I would use this box. So I have quite a few spells coming up and some um, just general meditation that I want to use some things for. Uh, this is Appetite, some Tiger's Eye, which I use quite a bit. Quartz crystals, which I probably use the most. I also have a smoky quartz piece. Uh, some of the things you don't want to put in with salt because they could scratch easily is um, like uh, turquoise, opal or opalite can scratch kind of easily. There's a, a whole list, so make sure you look through this before you put anything in your salt. Uh, sunstone. And since this is a new crystal to me, and this will be its first full moon with me, the, the Shungite I got from my mother-in-law. This piece of moonstone that I wear regularly. And then I really want to put in my uh, favorite beads to wear at my craft shows. These are all ones kind of based on that creativity spell that we did, uh, lapis, Labradorite, Tiger's Eye, and now Fluorite, because I actually do have Fluorite in a bracelet, but I, had, I don't have any little pieces of it, so I need to change that. So we'll stick all of that in there, close that up, and then I will either set it in the window seal 
or outside on my back patio since it's got a cover on it. But that is all for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, make sure you like and comment and don't forget to subscribe. And tomorrow will be day seven of Vlogoween. I hope you guys are enjoying the little series and I'll keep you posted on my upcoming events. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.